everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a neat little video I thought I might share with others. This idea came from uh, one of my faithful viewers, DustBunny54. Thank you for this uh, <laughs> great question. Um, and it got me to thinking. Now, if you're lazy like me and not suggesting that DustBunny54 is lazy, I'm suggesting that I am lazy. You like things to work automatically. Now, the question was, um, how can you, or she was trying to get the milk to be automatically transferred to a dairy, or in this case, uh, let's turn our uh, field info and help window on now. Uh, the uh, Farm Dairy Cheaty by Disturbed Simulations. Uh, well, be because. And so uh, she was trying to figure out how to get uh, the milk to automatically transfer from a, um, a pasture or a cow barn to the dairy so that you don't have to cart it and move it and all that good stuff. And uh, there isn't any direct method. However, as you can see here, I have a silo now. Uh, let me explain. First of all, this is a my cow pasture. It is a cow barn that has a milk capacity. So it has a natural milk capacity, a place where the milk comes out of. So that's not necessary, but um, it helps. Now, what I have done here is I placed a liquid silo extension. Uh, it's not going to show up in the field info. Let's go in here. So let's show you all the things I have here. I have an animal pen, uh, my cow pasture. I will put uh, uh, the mods, modder's name uh, in the description and so forth. Uh, I placed that down here, filled it with cows and food and water and all that good stuff. And then I placed uh, a liquid silo extension. This one, I do believe, is... Uh, now I can't remember who it's by. I will, I'm also going to post that here. <laughs> silo extensions. There it is. The liquid storage. Uh, liquid silo extension. And place that. I oh, override it. Place it. It's $2,000. Pretty cheap. Uh, placed it in here. Inside here. And then what that does. It, it captures. It captures all the liquids from this cow pan. And I'll show you why or how. Uh, notice that um, I have 1.13 million liters of water in there. That is not a usual capacity for this cow barn. It has extended the capacity of the liquids. What it also has done is it allows it to um, hold the milk that is produced. So any liquids produce slurry, water. It also extends the water and the milk. And now it is sharing its capacity with this liquid extension. Why is that important? Well, that shared capacity from silos goes and extends to production facilities. And in this case, I have placed down a farm dairy and notice the milk is reading one, 133,000 liters of milk, which is Which is, which is odd because now I have 33,000 liters in here. And this is telling me I got 103. So there's some kind of magic going on here for sure. That I'm not sure what's going on. But anyhow, <laughs> um, we can turn on these productions and it's... Uh, we have milk now uh, automatically. I have I have not transferred any milk from from the barn to here. This is this is shared capacity now, and this wow 133. Where did that come from? I literally no. I did not put any milk in here. I all I did literally all I did was I put down the barn. I put down the the silo extension and I put this down. After that was placed, I put the cows in. That's the order I'm doing it. Barn, silo. It doesn't have to be this particular dairy. It can be any dairy. Dairy. Then the food and water went in. Well, actually the water went in first, but then that doesn't matter. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, to extend this whole procedure, um, if you have a fertilizer conversion, that's something that uses slurry, this will work for anything, slurry or milk. Uh, it will share its capacity with, uh, let's see, do I have something that, uh, let's see here. Just to drag on this, uh, drag on this video a little bit longer. Liquid fertilizer. Nope, no. Nope, I want fertilizer production, liquid manure. So if we place this down here, uh, we should be able to capture Uh, yes, there we go. See, so we got 122,000 liters of slurry in here already. There we go. See that? See that now? You, see, you notice I just placed it down and it already says I have 122,000 liters of slurry. We can get that going too and it's going to start making automatically making solid fertilizer. Pulling slurry directly from the, the cow barn. So there you have it. That's your super lazy farmer cheaty uh, tip of the day I'm Looney Farm Guy and again thanks to DustBunny54 for uh, this uh, question slash idea <clears throat> um, I get a lot of my ideas from viewers and questions like you and I will try to acknowledge it when I remember who it's from but know that you're a important contributor to uh, to these videos and I thank you very much for watching, uh, commenting, uh, questions, uh, and neat tips and tricks. And uh, I will try to use, use as many as I can when possible. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.